Previously on Red Circles. Covered in someone else's blood. They found no puncture wounds. Not one. And it's not even her blood. And all that blood? Did they find out how much? Ah! Oh god. And I, I had my cell phone, so I got out and I called 911. Ever since I walked in that house, I felt like there was something strange. You're not making any sense. Like, I had been there. But it was a long time ago. Sophie, why did you bring me here? Look behind you. Sophie, I need to go into this house for a minute and check something out. You stay in the car. Be a good little girl. But Daddy, I'm going to go with you. No, no you can't. Yeah, you, you, you just stay here. It'll only be a couple of minutes. What are you thinking? She wasn't injured. She was covered in blood. It's an open and shut case. So she kills her son, hides the body, takes a shower, and then calls 911. And doesn't remember a thing. Is it possible she was taking a shower to wash off the blood, slipped, hit her head, and now doesn't remember? There wasn't any head injury. It's a open and shut case. But we have no body. We put people behind bars without bodies before. I don't know. It's cold in here. Daddy told me to stay in here, but... Emma? Have you found Bobby? No, ma'am. Please, please don't tell me Dad, this. ma'am, do you think we're stupid? I, I, I don't understand. We found you covered in a large quantity of blood, and we both know whose blood that is. What, you, you think I killed my son? You don't think. Sophie! Bobby? Ma'am. You're under the arrest for the murder Sophie, of- Sophie, I told you to wait in the car. It was cold. So you decided to come outside, back to the car. Go back to the car. Oh, God. Oh, Harold. Bobby? <laughs> Sophie! Looks like a suicide, but they're calling Catherine a prime suspect. He had her gun. 
Okay, then we're just gonna have to leave her inside the house then, that's it. I still think this is a bad idea. There are protocols for when irregularities happen. To board up a house with a potential victim inside. One of my officers is dead. His body was found less than a minute away, ten miles away from here. here. Okay? So you left her in the house, in the shower, covered in blood. What? This is my crime scene. I make the decisions. Actually, it's not. Special Agent Erica Thomas, FBI. Okay. Arlington. I'm called the feds. When an officer is practically teleported somewhere, the FBI does take some interest. Detective... Robert. So, what is your plan? Let me assess the situation and then get back to you. Robert. Special Agent Thomas, there is a woman in this house. And as soon as I find out all the facts, we will take the proper actions. Now, would you mind telling me why we haven't yet evacuated the neighborhood? Sophie, we have a problem. The case you told me about, the one similar to this one, it's not on file. How is that possible? An officer was killed, my father- Let me finish. It's not on file because your father checked it out. What? When? Six years ago. Poor kid. Yeah. I'm almost done. I'm assuming we're moving him back to Central? I guess there's no point in keeping him here. Let's move him out. Are you going to be doing an autopsy on Officer Ron? As soon as I get there. What is it? What is it? You go. What? Come on. I haven't... I haven't talked... I just can't. Sophie, I can't just... Please, Jane. Sophie. Jane. Fine. Yes? Detective Harold's. No one's called me that in 15 years. Oh. You've come for the file. Everyone living in a quarter mile radius has been moved to a safe location. Good. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What? Are you okay? You seem stressed. <laughs> well, I mean, who wouldn't be? Well, yeah, but is there anything else? This time, well, it usually doesn't get to me. I mean, I've seen a lot of kids, you know, been abused or, or even dead. This, this time, it's just really hitting home for me for some reason. I, I have a son. He just turned nine. When I found out my wife was pregnant, you know, I. I, I I lost it, you know. I don't know how to be a father. I was 19. I mean, how, how do you do that? You know, I wasn't ready for any of it. But you know, when she she had him, it's, it, it's been nothing but joy, you know. It just, it just all made sense. Seeing this, seeing that kid in there, you know, he's the same age as my son. It's just, just really, really got to me. Are you going to be okay? Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, I'll be fine, 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 I'm fine. Just... No, I'm fine. Really, it's, it's okay. It's... All right. Well. Thank you for sharing this with me. Yeah. Jeez. So have you figured out a plan yet? Uh, did I hear correctly that your detective Sophie Arlington discovered the dead police yeah. officer? Yeah. 
She said she knew where he was because of a similar case. Yeah, my detectives are getting the case file as we speak. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, it happened on January 10th, 1990. Two detectives came into this house because um, they found a woman covered in her son's blood. Like you found Catherine? Right, except it was her brother's blood. So when you discovered Catherine in the shower the second time, whose blood was she covered in? Well, I assume it was Officer Ron. You assume? Well, I, I mean, I didn't check for se. You didn't get a blood sample? Well, no, we don't have time to do that. It's totally circumstantial. You need to go back in that house and take a blood sample. What, go inside the house? Yes, go inside the house. Okay. Sorry, it took so long. My basement's a mess. My late husband was a biophysicist and he had things in a million boxes. I didn't think I was going to find it. Is that the file? Unfortunately, it is. You two have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. You know, I think it's a good idea to go in arms. This woman murdered an officer and then teleported him 10 miles away. Do you want to go in unarmed? Okay, good boy. I don't want to use it. It should be an easy in, easy out. You ready? Okay, we're going in the house. Wait! Somebody wait! What's going on? It's the body. What about it? It's gone. What? Next time on Red Circles. Sophie. Sophie. Meet your new partner. Sophie Arlington. Jane Roberts. She's being transferred to us. If your father knew you were going to get involved in this case, he would have burned that file. He wouldn't have wanted you to. How can I go back to work with Roberts tomorrow? What does she think of me? I can't walk away from this case now.